Hey, I'm Jared from Photo to Canvas, and welcome to episode three of my Fine Art and Photo Printing 101 series. Today's episode is about resolution, image resolution. This is gonna be one of the most important things we're gonna go over. And I've done some other videos about this topic, different aspects of it, but I'm just gonna put it all in here today so you have everything in one spot. The first thing we're gonna talk about is DPI versus PPI. DPI is dots per inch. Unless you're the one actually pushing the print button, you should not be paying any attention to DPI. DPI is the number of dots that your printer will put in an inch of the medium, the paper, the canvas. So print shops that ask you for images in 300 DPI are just confusing you. Ignore them, it's super frustrating. You'll notice that Photoshop, Procreate, any software program you use, is going to work in PPI, which is pixels per inch, not DPI. So that being said, pixels per inch. A pixel is a tiny square of color. Now pixels make up your computer screen, they make up your phone screen, they make up your camera sensor, they make up your TV. It's just millions of tiny little squares of color. That's what our images are created from. On a print, yes, they're created by millions of little dots of color. But when you're preparing your image, you're working with pixels, not dots. Now, when you send an image to print, or when you print it yourself, you are going to want to print it at 300 pixels per inch. And a pixel doesn't just straight transfer to a dot. We're not gonna get into that. It's not important. What you need to know is you wanna work in 300 pixels per inch. You can use 600 pixels per inch to print, but you have to have that many pixels. So it's kind of unlikely that you're going to. Now the pixels per inch is gonna determine the size of your photo. To keep it simple, let's look at a cell phone. A cell phone is 12 megapixel on average. So that's 3,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. 3,000 times 4,000 is 12 million. 12 million is 12 megapixel. Megapixel stands for millions of pixels. So images for the web are set usually at 72 pixels per inch. Now if you have 3,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, that means that at 72 pixels per inch, your image is going to be 41 inches wide by 55 inches tall. That's pretty big. But when you print, you're gonna to wanna to put it at 300 pixels per inch. So that same image is gonna be 10 inches wide by about 13 inches tall. So if we're gonna print larger than a 10 by 13 of that image, we're gonna to need to upscale it or add pixels. Now, most shops don't do this unless you ask them to and pay extra. I do it to every single image that comes through my shop free of charge. We have some absolutely incredible software these days for upscaling your images to prevent pixelation when you're printing larger than the image comes. Photoshop can do this okay, not fantastic. I used to use On1 software, it's pretty good, but I've recently gotten hooked on Topaz Gigapixel AI. It's absolutely incredible what it can do. As long as you're starting with a relatively sharp image, it can upscale and enlarge it with incredible results and allow you to print much larger than you used to be able to. Now with a higher resolution camera, say my Sony a7R 4 which is 61 megapixel, you have a lot more information, so that's 61 million pixels in the image. So at 300 pixels per inch, it's gonna be a lot larger than the picture from your cell phone. So you're not gonna to need to upscale it as much, which is gonna allow you more detail in a large print. But that being said, I can print iPhone images 10 feet wide because of the software that we have today. So what you really need to know is that you want to set your image at the actual dimension you're gonna print it at at 300 pixels per inch before you print. So if you're printing a four by six on a little desktop, cheap hundred dollar printer, and you open a program like Apple Preview or something like that, and you don't resize it and you just click print, the software is gonna automatically resize your image to that four by six and print it. Now, if you're enlarging, if you have a tiny image or if you're doing a bigger than four by six, the software is gonna need to stretch that image out, which is what most shops do when you order a print. And that's not gonna look very good. So if you use something like Adobe Photoshop or Topaz Gigapixel and you make sure that your image is actually four by six or whatever size, I'm just using that for an example, at 300 pixels per inch, that's gonna get you the best looking image and what you see on your screen is likely what you will see in your print. 
Now, if you're printing a piece of paper, if you're printing an email, you're obviously not going to worry every time you print something about the resolution of your PDF file or whatever your file is that you're printing. This only matters when you're printing photos and art. So just remember, 300 pixels per inch at the actual size you are printing the photo. Now I do this myself, so if you're sending me an order, just send me the photo as it is. Unless you're a professional photographer or artist and you really want to have complete control of the upscaling of your image. But I'm happy to do this for free. But if you're printing yourself, which is what these videos are aimed at, then you're going to want to know how to set this yourself. If you don't have Photoshop and you're on a Mac and you're using something like Apple Preview, you can change these settings. You can adjust the size and the resolution of your image but the results are gonna look like crap because Apple Preview's not made for that. It's not a program that's made for enlarging and adding pixels. If you're printing a four by six, it's probably gonna be fine. Some of these printers at home can print up to 13, up to 17 inches wide. So when you're going that big, you're really gonna to wanna to properly resize the resolution of your file. DPI is something we'll talk more about when we get to the video when you actually print the image. But for now, forget about it. 300 ppi actual size should be all you need to do all right well that's pretty much it for image resolution but it's really really important as it's going to determine the sharpness of your print in our next video we are going to talk about color space until then if this was helpful please thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time thank you